Hey, what's going on, my friend? Welcome to the channel. Brown the Divine Healer here with you. Gonna do your Virgo Libra cusp reading. That's right. Woo! So, how you doing? You doing well? That's fantastic. I'm glad to hear that. <clears throat> Noobs, thanks for clicking the video. Hit the like button and subscribe so you can become part of the Divine family. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Divine Squad, those are my loyal subscribers. Appreciate y'all. Thank you very much. Okay, so let me shuffle these up. And we'll get into your energy now. So one thing I want noobs to remember is that if you don't want to be called a noob anymore, subscribe. <laughs> but no, seriously, like I want you to remember that the roles can be reversed and the energies can be switched. Okay, so we'll just go with that. And I'll shuffle these up here a little bit more for you. I don't do reversals. So that's just part of what I don't do. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. I'm going to shuffle these up and then we'll pick your cards. Okay, we'll find out what kind of message you've got going on today, my friends. Okay. <clears throat> Woo! All right, we'll leave those there. Take these, looks like there's one, two, three, four, five cards for you. So bottom is the top because they hit first. High Priestess. Ooh, this is your intuition. Maybe it's your intuition ringing. ding a ling a ling 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 The bell has rung, okay? So maybe you all have to be, ooh, so you're trusting your intuition about your, your um, wish fulfillment because you've got the Nine of Cups, okay? That's achieving emotional happiness. So you're letting your intuition guide you for your wish fulfillment. That's very nice. I like that. Okay, next card. This is the first card of your story. This is representing your duality. Okay, the two cards in the beginning, because I'll pull two cards at the end for your verdict and your outcome. It represents your masculine, feminine, your light, dark side, all that other stuff. A lot of people don't understand what duality means. They think it's evil, blah, blah, blah. There's no such good and evil. You know, we do battle good and evil. There is a sun for the light. There is a moon for the dark. Though both illuminate, that's still the duality, okay? A man's testicles is a woman's ovaries. Sorry to put it to you that way, but that is the duality of shit. So I'm tired of people saying there ain't no such thing as duality because it don't exist. Y'all need to go find, find yourself a hole. Here's your first card of your story. Boom. Lover's card. That is a twin flame divine counterpart. Very interesting. Ace of Cups. So I think that you're feeling that you, what with your intuition, your wish fulfillment is a divine counterpart that and I think that you're sensing that there is a new beginning coming to you because the Ace of Cups is a brand new start in love and another Ace. Ace of Pentacles. What? One, two majors, but you have two Aces back to back. This is follow the yellow brick road, my friends. Boom, right? See the, see the road? Did you see it? Can you see it? Good. All right, so you sense all this is coming for you. Your wish fulfillment is this road to abundance. It is a brand new start in love and it is with a divine counterpart. And this is all your wish fulfillment that you are trusting your intuition with. You know it because high priestess is knowing without knowing. What? This is fabulous. Okay, so five of swords, that's kind of like a psh, psh, hip check, right? Okay, so I mean, you could be a little guarded about this, right? A little defensive. Maybe you've been waiting for a long time and nothing has really progressed in the way that you were getting the nudges that you feel something's on the brink, something's on the verge, right? Mm.
Wow. All right. I think you stand ready. <laughs> to be honest with you, look at that guy just standing there, right, with the sword. He's standing ready, right? He's standing ready. And because he's standing there like that, the, the Ace of Pentacles, the hand is going this way. With the Ace of Cups, it's going this way. So this is this is love from a divine counterpart that's going to set you on this road to success that you're standing ready for. Because you're trusting your intuition that this is all you wish to film it. Victory and success is yours, my friend. There could be some great news coming in, so let's let's see how this is all transpire. Either way, it's victorious, right? <laughs> Holy shnikes. Ending your burdens. Ten of wands. I mean, that is burdens, barriers, and blockages that you're carrying, but with the ten, it represents completions and endings. So the victory that you get, that you know that your wish fulfillment is coming into you and you're staying ready for that, the victory is that the burdens of not having this yet is over because it's on the way. Mmm. Well now, Queen of Swords. Okay, so I, I, I kind of, I want to retract that a little bit. I want to back that up, right? So we'll do rewind. So, the vic, it's not, I mean, this is victorious, but I really feel that there could be some, I mean, great news, right? That's what this card means. Great news, victory, success in this forward movement, right? But now that I'm looking at with the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Wands, I'm feeling that because you want victory, waiting for all this to happen, you are eliminating burdens and barriers and blockages that in your life have been stopping you possibly from your wish fulfillment. And so you as the Queen of Swords, off with your heads. So you are cutting out Anything that could potentially stop or block you and hold you up and put you in this burden place. That could leave you out on the cold. You're cutting off anything that could leave you out on the cold, that could stop you, that could block you. That Queen of Swords is in between both of this Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. You have victory in cutting off people, places, and things that get in your way and try to leave you on the cold Whoosh, like a ninja. Queen of Swords ain't nobody to mess around with. <laughs> Just saying. Seriously, wow, this is crazy. Okay, so there's a momentary pause. Hey, man, it's not you're stuck it's the pause is it's not coming yet so it's on its way but it's not here because you have been busy knocking off these problems these people these places these things that have been leaving you on the cold because you're standing ready for victory it's coming because it's all going that way and you'll definitely be victorious or have been victorious in eliminating this kind of garbage trash my friends so now that leaves you in this moment of waiting. And this is the truth and clarity. There's your truth card, Ace of Swords. A lot of swords out here, man, I'm telling you. Here we go. Okay. So the truth and clarity is once this starts rolling in for you, your divine counterpart that's going to bring this massive amount of um, love opportunity to you because it is a, a twin flame divine connection that is your wish fulfillment that leads you to this road of success and abundance. The truth and clarity is once it finally comes in, it brings this balance of give and take, even give and take. And this is supposed to happen. The world card. Good luck, fortune, uh, fate, 
destiny. So the truth is, the, the fate and destiny that you are waiting on will bring you balance, but there is just that pause, okay? So. Here's your outcome. And that wounded warrior, okay? So you have, in the outcome here, battled these burdens, blockages, barriers, idiots, fools that have been holding you back and leaving you out in the cold. But you'll have success in cutting all that off. And so this wounded warriors, you put all that behind you. Because those wands are these wands. A little bruised, a little battered, but you're still standing in your truth. I'm not taking this crap. Yeah. And it's almost like you stand guarded ready to fight more people that might come in and try to, you know, take from you, try to leave you out in the cold, bring more burdens, right? Let me pull one more card. Oh, beautiful. Go to go to work. You know, game over. This is your happiness. This is your abundance. This is your wish fulfillment. This is all what you know is coming to you because it is fated and destined for you. So congratulations, my friends. This was a stupendous reading. Fantastic. I love it. So that has been your reading, my friends. Thank you for taking the time to come out here. Check out this video. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell everybody about my channel. Share the video if you like. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so when I do more videos, you'll be the first to know. Enjoy your weekend, my friends. That was a very blessed and gracious reading that I enjoy doing for you. So, appreciate your time and energy. Peace and pray. See you again.